after the after the storm happened, it was always like this. He'd be the dude because I lived with him for a while in Hollywood, yeah. and you know, so shit would happen. You know, get arrested or some stuff like we, there'd be police or whatever. There's a fight. Him and Axel fighting in the front yard. Yeah. You know, stupid shit. The neighbors calling and the They'd cops showing up matches. and like they were like, it's crazy. You know, like I, it's so Axel much funny. Axel and so, Shannon were oh, just ro- like yeah. going at it in our going front yard, right yeah. outside my bedroom like window. With gloves? Or? No, with gloves. No, no just punching like a each real other fight. out in like, a drunk I'm mad at you. street fight. Yeah, oh, yeah. for real street yeah. fight. Oh, yeah. No, like I'm mad at That's you. That's the way fighting. they communicated yeah. sometimes. But then I love you because we're from Indiana, right. so we fight. And so then show our love. And so then the next morning, you know, and they would trash the house or whatever. And I lived in a really small bungalow, right in Hollywood. It was literally a Hollywood bungalow. Hello, dude mm-hmm. and um right you went over that house. yeah the long pre on yeah it was pre, great yeah. and and um and uh he you know would get trash whatever but he would get up in the morning before I, you would ever get up and he would clean everything up fucking make you breakfast and apologize yeah mm-hmm. that was Shannon. every time that was Shannon, yeah tell you he loved you right he was the best at apologizing because he you fucked know, up so much. He was right. genius. But but he meant it. it but he just, meant it. No, it was, it was like he was just a genuine authentic. dude. Yeah, like he was yeah. full of emotions. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was truly many sorry of them, the next day. You know, it was you like know? he was a mercurial guy, and he was, um, he was, uh, you know, he had a lot of anger, but he also had a lot of love he for sure his did. friends. Yeah. yeah, You know, like. Um, he was just, it was like overwhelming and he kept in touch with a lot of people and he had real meaningful relationships with people. Mm-hmm. So and he filmed everything. Yeah. That's just bizarre. Yeah. To think I, I like watching that film that Danny made. Yeah. Danny Clinch. And yeah. I, you sat I, next to me. I sat next to you and yeah, yeah, you were right there too. Yeah. Yeah. You were my canary in a coal mine. I told you this. I was like, <laughs> if you liked it, I was going, oh, that's cool. Then it's going to be good. I fucking loved it. Yeah, it was beautiful. I think it's a cool. I think it's really cool. It was beautiful, yeah. you know, and um, yeah, just I don't know. I don't know, just like the proximity to maybe that kind of like star power in Axl Rose maybe set, <laughs> set him off in that direction. Who knows? Yeah, he, he, was he was already gonna, there. He thought oh, he was, was going to be a legend. That. He he knew he was going to be a. Le- I mean, he just had that in him. Axl, like, lo- everybody loved him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Axl thought that kid's a star. I mean, everybody yeah. did. Everybody you know? did. Right. It was undeniable. It really was. You know. I mean, yeah, there was never a, a, a situation. I mean, he, he would have done something no matter what. Or know? ended up in jail, like we're talking right. about. Right, but I mean, I know, I think he was just, he, he had, I think his, his good overwhelmed his bad, at least at that time, you know. Yeah. And um, he was, um, he was clearly, and I don't know, for whatever reason, we just got on well. Right. And he was loyal, you know, in that way. Yeah. So, it was, you know, it was great. 